Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I like thanks everyone that been watching my new series of building my new build up. Oh, what? I guess new build. <laughs> That's what I meant. So I've been working nonstop since uh, last Tuesday. Did I come back? Yeah, last Tuesday. So every day I did a little bit. Today I work about four hours for this one little thing which enabled me to get this setup work the way I think it would. So let's check it out. Even though this build is not completely done yet, but it's pretty much 80% done. So, as you can see, at this point, I have everything I need for my camping you know, for the road trip that I need on the road and still be able to have seat for four people in the vehicle at all times, right? And these two seats are easy to remove, take less than, not even a minute to take them out if you do, if you know what you're doing. And as you can see, my, my water supply is still the same like before, it's hit, except this time it's not hidden under the platform. The fridge is now moved to this in between. It used to be over here under the platform. My uh, two pantry tub is there. So it's my option whether I take them or not. It's up to me. But you're going to ask, uh, where's everything else? It's pretty much in the back. So let's go in the back and check out what I have in the back. Well, welcome to the living room in the back. It's not a full side bed. It just, of course, you know, I always have that little attention to make it a full side for me. I'm 5'8. So that's 68 inches. That's all I need. So this is my uh, seal container for my butane and propane. And I narrowed out everything into one of these instead of two before. Instead of having a. a um, uh, chuck box that you always seen me love about but now I have a fixed one here sitting behind so this is 80% of what I need under here is all my I just put a couple sample of my cube for clothing of course if you follow me on previous video under this there's a ton of stuff under here which that's why I built a platform for it so let's this bed is 30 inches, but the uh, platform is 24 inches. What I did is I moved them right into the middle, so I have three inches short on each side, which is fine. So if, because I'm reusing most of my stuff that I had before. Oh, by the way, I still have the solo panel under here, hidden down here. And this is a little, uh, attachment that I can put the right now I don't have that piece with me but I, if I want to cook outside I can put that here and then hang it outside and cook outside so the bed platform used to be a little bit higher I just chopped them down so they're only about nine inches from the bottom to the top because the uh, the platform is level so I just cut all four leg, leg down to nine inches just enough so I can have room under here there's tons of room down here I haven't filled up. I will show you once I get to the front. I'm just barely put a little bit in the back. So let's deconstruct this so you can so I can show you piece by piece what's going on in here and how I was able to fit all this in here. All right. All right. I removed my uh, plastic uh, drawer and the uh, gas butane out. So now, as you can see, this area wide open. If I want to get stuff out here that I need under here, that's the lid. I'm not gonna go through the. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the trouble. There's a lot of stuff under there. If you want to know how much stuff under there, uh, I will put a little video under the description box so you can follow what's coming out of that box. So like I said, I built a platform because I want a lot of room under here for storing stuff. Right now, I'm not storing anything at all. So I like to keep it that way, unless, you know, 
I want to move that, uh, those, uh, I keep forgetting the term. My food storage down there. So, yeah. All right. I'm jumping all over the place. So let's get back to the uh, bed platform, all right? On the bed platform, you, I have two choice. If I was to have to keep that seat there, right? That is my, you know, preferred option. If I want my leg, uh, mostly my head will be up there. So I already took out a mattress. So, you know, of course, you're laying over there. You always have a pillow up there. So I just put, as you see, that's why I want to leave those two tubs there. I just put some more stuff there and level it out, and then my head be on that side. So that's the full length of the bed without having to move anything. I just fold that seat down and throw a bunch of stuff under there and then I put my pillow and I'm good. Because that's one option. There's another option to this. Let's say I need that area to be clean with no seat. And if I want to... Let's say I don't want to remove the seat, but I want to keep it up so I have more room in there. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's just say I don't want to use that seat as a, a the, the, the bed. All I have to do is flip this seat up so I still have the seat in the vehicle. And just open up this area. Of course, this has to go somewhere. So that's that's why I'm I'm probably gonna put them under the seat later on. So it'd be out of way, but if I was to keep the seat, so we just flip this up. And this will give me a full length of a bed without having to use the seat as a head of the bed. Oh I can remove the seat out of here. Take it out completely. Right now uh I have to remove the headdress in order to re remove the seat easily. So hold on, let me just pause you. Yeah, once you took the headdress out, like this one, it's very easy to get the seat out. You either pull this string and lift the seat out. There you go. Just tail it down. Come right up. So pull on it, lift it up. Now I will show you how much space you get over here now. As you notice, I just get a lot of room in here. This is open space over in here. Still got a seat in the back. So I'm, I'm down to three people, but I haven't moved anything out of the vehicle. Still everything in Sioux, except I rearranged the my uh, dry food pantry down to here now. So if I really want, I can stack them up so that way I can have a walkway to the back. You know, it's a matter of rearranging stuff so I can have a walkway to the back and then I can turn the fridge this way, sideways, Leave the, leave the fridge over here like that so that will open up space over there for me to go in to that seat and come back around so I'm gonna take you around all right so I have access through here from the driver's side get in the vehicle I have my walkway to walk back to the bed and the kitchen area and back there with no obstruction and look at all the space I still have over here. Remember, if I have to do emergency number two in here, I have room to put my portable toilet in here if I want to. Or store my uh, fold-up bike behind the seat and the fridge will be there. I still have room here in this area to, to do my business. So this is the configuration that if I were to bring one fold-up bike with me, it will stay right in this area. The fridge is right here, accessible easily. My uh, dry food is here. Still have access back and front to my water. Still have a hangout seat over here. My kitchen is right here. Easily from the bed, access whatever I need access back here also without having to move anything. 
So, what if I don't need this seat, but I need two fold up bike? I can always fold this seat down, remove just like that one. Take a minute to move, remove it, and I have wide open space. I'm gonna show you what it look like without a seat in here. Look at the amount of space I have now without a seat in it. All right, let's go in. Tons of space, wide open, no obstruction whatsoever. So what I like about this setup is the flexibility and it can be changed within minutes without removing much, just the chair. All my camping gear stay inside the vehicle. 80% of it will be inside of the I don't want to food, keep the food in here. I don't want to keep the can in there. So those are easily move in and out. That's why I put them in tubs. So this platform took me this morning almost four hours to build it because I was reusing stuff, you know, so I have to kind of modify stuff. I will show you what it looked like. So I have to build that little U section addition so that way I can mount this bracket in here. And you see there's two uh, little handles that you press to in order to compress it down. Let's see what I can do with one hand here. And it fold out like that, flat, cover up. Here's a, what it looked like from the top. Completely flat. See? So you kind of have to measure out how far it is. This is the Mac that I can use from the top to the bottom. Right? And that is how the bed was constructed. If you want, let me show you something else. How, how the bed is anchored down to... Uh, see you can see this see it's just bracket L bracket two 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 in the front two in the back let me show you what to look there's two in the back so the back one is easy to remove you just take these two screw and then we'll take the whole platform actually I rather prefer to remove these two one two one two but in the front See, but in the front you have to remove one, two, and one, two on the top, not the bottom piece to get the bed out if uh, you need to remove it. So right now the floor is unfinished. I'm still deciding what to put down because I like to put some blink blink on the floor, make it look nice in the back. So my thinking is uh, one of those uh, cell sticky vinyl sheet, you know, the, the 12, 12 inch by 12 inch. They're pretty pricey nowadays. They're like a dollar. A dollar twenty nine a square foot. So this is sixteen square foot, and they don't sell sixteen pieces. They only sell boxes in in twenty. So that's gonna run me about twenty five, twenty thirty bucks for flooring. But that will make the back look really nice. All right, let's focus on the kitchen area. Right now, it's not even done yet. Uh, I still have a. Uh, Cover. I'm still deciding how, how wide I want the pieces on the top. So I'm thinking doing a flip up top. So when I want to cook, just flip it up and then cook. And then when I'm done, just close it down. That way I have a kind of a built-in table top when I'm sitting in my bed. So as you can see, still got plenty of room down here. All my utensil. I can double up the space here. But right now I'm just leave it open. And... Uh, of course, here's on my water pump. Remember, it just go right over this. And now I have to hook it up. I can leave it like that. Instead, I'm still figuring out what to do in the front here. So more to come in the front. Right now, I'm focusing the back. And let's see what else. So this is secure down to the to the platform through. Uh, six one two three four yeah six six screw screwed out right now I, I'm not screwing it up okay. I'm finished the building of this so when I build this if you notice it look a little bit funky it's smaller on the bottom but it's wider on the top why 
because I need the room to walk back and forth here. And that's how I gain. The bottom is 10 inches. The top is 12 inches. So I just gain two inches of foot uh, area. Because when I'm sitting in here, my foot be comfortable down here. So that's how I build it in such a way. This is very custom built. It's pretty easy. And you can see I, uh, I actually reuse these two pieces I reuse in the back is reused from my I, I will put a picture up what remember that platform that uh, poor man uh, Murphy bed that fold up I use that piece that those two pieces pretty much all of it like 90% of it I only have a little bit left over a lot of these wood are reused I, the only thing I bought was this I have a lot of uh, wood that I, I have left over from previous bills so I'm pretty much repurpose, reuse all my wood. You know, wood is very expensive in the day. Even the the two by two here, they used to cost like a dollar fifty. Nowadays, like three fifty, almost twice the price. I mean, three times the price. So, yeah, everything is already here, so I don't have to look for anything. It's just a matter of take it and use it. My propane, I might have to do a little mod. See how the knob kind of there? So I might have to do a little notch right there so I can turn the knob. Remember this too. And I personally do this because I found that I need this area to store my toothbrush, my water, drink, access. So I'm gonna have a little, right now it's not covered in the back. Once it is covered, then, uh, let me see. Yeah, in the back, it's not covered. So when it is covered, it's gonna go up high, so I have room for storage behind here. So more to come on that. All right. See, when I build this, I wrote this down to remind myself what I need to do. See, like nine inch in height, 28 by 10 on the bottom. The top side edge is 12, so it drives you crazy. You don't write it down, and you keep asking, so what is it, you know? So that's how it looked like from the side. Here's a closer look at the kitchen cabinet. So like I said, just have to draw it out and then drill a hole and then attach with drill and screw. Nothing fancy about this. Very easy to do. See, here's a look on the side. See, it's all screw, 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 screw. Just draw the line, drill the hole, and then shoot the screw and put glue in the bag. So kind of dry fit them first before you glue them. When it fit the way you want, then you uh, remove all the screw, put the, the glue in, and then reattach. Let's take a look in the back. That's how it look like in the back. Right now, it's not covered. Soon I will cover it up, then to be finished, I will put a coat of paint on this, same color as uh, is this. There you go, and back to daily mode with two, two seat, in suit, no water jug, no fridge, and my uh, Food store is not here. Everything else pretty much stay the same. Of course, got a lot. Take out my clothing also. And that is my new setup. And here's a look from behind again. Daily mode. I would say what? 70% of the stuff is in here. Water jug, one. Fridge, two. Pantry stuff, three. My gas can uh, container, four, and all my clothing. Down here is five. Five things that I will need to go on the road and live in my van. Thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Whenever this thing is completely done, I will give you a full tour of it.